Hi guys, it's Shamangani, the CEO and founder of Feather and Bone. How are you all doing? I'm good, but I am horribly cold because it is minus 26 Celsius out here in New York. I hate the cold weather. So if you hear any banging, it is my window because the wind is howling. Anyways, all that aside, so the last video we talked about authenticity and basically really defining what it meant which was essentially what is your value system what are the you know the, your core moral compass and we said the way that you figure that out helps you figure out if you can trust yourself if you can be honest with yourself and how vulnerable you can be now you're probably wondering why does this matter? It's such a deep philosophical, bit of a tongue twist to that, a deep philosophical thought like this doesn't really matter in my real world. I know who I am. And you know, for a very long time, I felt the same way. And I only really started to see how it was impacting my life when it came to two things, how I chose products, how I bought products, what products I bought, and how I was dealing with fear. So let's let's start with the fear part because I think that's a little bit more interesting. So when you're growing up, you kind of know who you are, right? You think you're this kind of a person. Like for me, I thought I was just this like young teeny bopper who loved Hanson and I loved pop music and I loved fashion and that's kind of who I was. But what I thought was interesting was that I was also a really creative person and I used to have all these like wild crazy thoughts. I would take my mom's old clothes and cut them up and make them into dresses and skirts and people thought I was a bit weird. And if you're in high school growing up and people thinking you're weird, that's just probably not a good idea. And so I would be kind of scared of showing people this creative side of me because I don't want to be alone. Like I don't want to lose my friends. And so this fear of being who I was, was preventing me from, you know, showing my side and, and because I was so afraid of loneliness. And I think in this day and age, we experience it so much because of social media. We have these constant FOMO moments. I know you're having one, maybe even right now as you're looking through Instagram, but it, it, it makes you kind of not be true to yourself, right? It makes you think, I can't trust myself because really on Instagram, this post showed me this. And you can't be honest with maybe yourself because your friend might be doing this and you're against it, but you don't want to tell your friend no or let yourself feel hurt when you feel hurt because it's not okay to show that. And so that's the problem with with fear. It, it clouds your authenticity. So, okay, so there you have fear, but why, why does this matter with buying my products? Like how does authenticity and buying products and make a difference is because when you have fear, when you're acting out of fear, you're going to buy things that aren't true to you. And we do that in almost every aspect of our life. And I'm going to use beauty as the perfect example. We are all beautiful in our own way. And our physical beauty has so many different things. But because we want to fit in, because we want that boy to like us, we'll buy these products that we think will make the boy like us. I did that. I used to cut my hair in different ways or try different styles just so a guy would like me. And, and that's, that's where products take us away from our authenticity. I hope this is helpful. I hope you, you find this insightful. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments. So if you like it, dislike it, if you have any comments, definitely write it below. And I'm always live on Instagram. I always love to hear from you. So if you haven't subscribed on our YouTube, do that. It's a little button over there. And if you haven't followed us on Instagram, I'll put our information down there. So follow us. So guys, I know it's scary to face your fears because you don't want to be alone. But don't let that be the reason that you're not true to yourself. Next week, I'm going to be sharing some really fun, embarrassing stories of how, because of my fear, I let my lack of like being who I am, you know, make a little fool out of myself. Until next week. Bye, guys.